So, I'm here in the water cube with uh, Vida. Uh, Vida, could you please uh, put up your badge? Thank you very much. Vida, could you introduce yourself? My name is Vida Afumduti. Yeah. Um, I work in Ghana yeah. on the Sustainable Water Services at Scale Project, which is being supported by IRC, International Water and Sanitation Center. Okay, and is this your first time in Stockholm? Yes, this is my first time in Stockholm, and it's very exciting because I'm yeah. meeting a lot of people and I'm establishing a lot of networks that would facilitate my work when I go back. Yeah, so th what's your impression so far? Uh, my impression so far is that the water community is very big. Yeah. Uh, and it's encouraging to see the great work that people are doing to support the water sector. Mm -hmm. So could you tell me a little bit more of what you do in Ghana daily? In Ghana, I work on the Sustainable Services at Scale project as a country team leader. Mm -hmm. We are working with the government of Ghana to address issues on sustainability of water services. Uh, what we find is that in Ghana, most of the initiatives are projectized and therefore after the phase of a project, mm -hmm. the systems break down people get disappointed. And so what we are doing with government in collaboration with DPs and NGOs yeah. is to find ways of addressing this critical issue to ensure that people continue to have reliable water services. Okay, and, and so what are, what are the main reasons for this breakdown? The, some of the reasons have been that there are no clearly defined responsibility for financing post-construction support. Mm -hmm. So as long as it is within the project frame, uh, you get resources to do the follow-ups and what have you. Mm -hmm. But then as soon as the project ends, mm -hmm. because no one is clearly responsible for how these systems are maintained, how these systems are rehabilitated or replaced mm -hmm. after their lifespan, uh, it's they go back to how they started again. And so these are some of the things that we are trying to mm -hmm. do with government. We are also to, trying to look at how district assemblies can be empowered to better work with the communities mm -hmm. in sustaining these facilities that are uh, placed in the communities. So uh, what in your experience now, what, what is the best way to address this? What, what is the solution? Um, I think the solution lies with all the stakeholders. What we have observed in Ghana, for example, mm -hmm. is that there are so many rich experiences with different approaches that have been tried, yeah. Yeah. just that they've not been properly documented and they've also not been upskilled. One of the key things that we are doing with government as a start is to document these lessons. We're trying to look at the evolution of water service delivery in Ghana from 1965 yeah. to date where we will look at the era of supply driven yeah. to 1994 where the community ownership and management uh, approach was adopted yeah. and then what the objective is to look back and then based on the lessons to redefine the moment to inform the future we think that these documentation once finalized and published yeah. will not even serve the purpose in ghana but can be disseminated widely for others that are initiating new projects to learn from the experiences in the past and see how they can build on it moving on. Okay, well to, to finish off, what, what would it be, because this is going to be a worldwide message, what would be your message on water to the world? I think my message on water to the world is that water is the center of everything. Yeah. And therefore, we all have to support the process of ensuring reliable, clean water to the people in this world. That sounds very nice. Thank you very much. And Thank I hope you. you enjoy the rest of the week as well. Thank you for the opportunity.